So in my understanding, in my view, zero touch operation is really about end-to-end -end network management because in some cases people try to couple it with closed loop autonomous operation only. But I think this is a wider thing and where, you know, we do have, of course, assurance and closed loop operation as critical part of it, but it would include also NFV, SDN and many companies that eventually provide end-to-end -end network management. So it comes from the several angles. So first of all, I would say as services, which are becoming more complex, and those, you know, manual operation, manual scripts, which were right, and like, you know, if uh, something is happening to VNF, then restart it, which exist in the network, but they may not be sufficient at this uh, point of time because of service complexity, because of search of services, because of the new technologies such as 5G, H computing coming into the play and the ability to define your services based on those technology. And if service is complex, it may not be sufficient, it is not sufficient to use the existing methods of, you know, services defined and thrown to the IT. IT tries to handle uh, the service KPI somehow purely defined with uh, some subject matter experts. Not enough as of now. This is one aspect and there are aspects I would uh, say, you know, the uh, demand from the service provider side to reduce their own workforce and automation is a key for that. So uh, I would say that the one key thing is that it is, that it is a journey. It will not happen one day. As I said, we are not at fully manual operation already. We do have those, you know, written scripts. We do have some AI. We do have some automations in the network. It will happen gradually. Not only that it will happen gradually, it will depend on the service provider, the maturity of its operation, the services, the use cases it have. So it is really per service providers and not just something which you can build up and, you know, throw and every service provider can, uh, you know, is it equally, uh, use it equally. Now, the second thing I would say that organizational change is needed because you cannot, for this to happen, you really have a very close, you have to have a very close cooperation between network, IT and operations in the service provider organization. You cannot divide those organizations any longer. They really need to work jointly on defining KPIs on actually uh, connecting between what is defined in offline and what the real information which is happening through assurance cycle and feeding back actually the design phase and, and then as a result policies even may change. So that has to be done all together and for that you really need cooperation of those organizations. I would say that those are two key things and your services and their needs to use autonomous operation and the organization and the need to change it within it. For me, ONOP is an implementation, end-to-end -end implementation of uh, what, you know, zero touch management is, zero touch operation is. Now, specifically for autonomous operation, which in my view, part of zero touch approach, we have that closed loop approach in ONAP where we have policy uh, DCE, which is analytics entity and CLAM, which is closed loop involved, where we actually uh, define what would be the right approach, what would be the right handling the closed loop. One example which I can bring is automatic scaling that we are defining right now. The journey started back in Beijing release and we are enhancing it each one of the release and this is a classical implementation of zero touch operation which is automatic scaling out, scaling in where involvement is not needed and this is really a key for deployment where you uh, may have, you know, really a dynamic change of scale and dynamic need in scaling out and scaling in. At NFV started six years ago and at NFV or NFV is a part of the overall zero touch approach. So I would say ideally it would be, you know, zero touch which started first and then NFV which started as some domain implementation of it. Uh, 
but but this is the case right we have to face what we have and 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 i think that right now the important thing is to connect those activities, not work by silo, you know, it's at the same, it's defining stuff and we cannot wait for them. Open source is proceeding, best, best, it's, it's supposed to proceed. We need, we need to start um, collaborating on those activities as soon as possible. I think we are, we are good. I think we are doing that. I would say uh, also on the standard body uh, side, they need probably to be more cooperative uh, from the early stages, right? Again, bringing an example of Etsy is at the same, they now thinking of starting actually liaison in a different organization. They probably could have started doing that a bit earlier because, you know, those organizations are those who will actually need to do the work, fulfill the gaps that Etsy is at the same identifies. So, so I think that we are probably doing the right thing, but in some cases we are trying to close the gaps, the right gaps, but not not proactively, only when we identify those gaps. So, uh, so this is something that probably could be done better.